Welcome, 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 welcome to the Pinky Pink House. All right, my little lions. I'm gonna do your Rala kind of for the first half of November. Um, I'm gonna do a rose spread. I am going. Why is this just so? Um, I'm gonna do. It's gonna be like a big petal. Okay, it's gonna be your core issue, how you were feeling in the past, and your attitude, the past actions, and your advice, where it's going, your outcome, how you're feeling. Okay, I'm gonna break it down as we go. Um, now I'm gonna pull your moon card, and we're gonna get the ball. We're gonna get the ball going, okay? Because we're before you know it, we're wrapping up the end of the year, okay? So let's get you where you need to be. All right. Um, when I pictured what was going on, like channeling, I don't know. I just saw like laughing, like belly laughing, like you're just enjoying life. Okay, so if something was going down, that shift is coming for you, okay? It, it really is. I do know you're going into your fifth house November 8th, and that's all about fun, romance, friends, adventures. It's going to be great, okay? Um, please allow it to be great, because I kind of feel like some of you are just at the place where had enough okay and life's about to get really good again okay i can feel it i can feel it to the point where i was like can i be a leo can i be a leo okay so let's see what the, the core issue is the the present issue leo's leo's my lions my lions All right, it's the Ace of Pence, okay? The issue is the start hasn't presented itself yet or somebody is not open up and talking. For some, you want a new start, you need to communicate. Take a spread. For others, you're just like, where, where is it? Where's the opportunity? They're going to present itself. For others, you don't want what was presented. Okay. When one door shuts, another one opens, guys. And some of you are holding on to the past. Um, let's find out your past feelings when it comes to this situation because some of you don't want this new stat. Some of you just don't want it. That's way too many. Well, that's only two. All right. So, the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So, in the past, you were pretty determined to have a conversation. Or somebody was. Using your intuition, being focused, staying determined, feeling good about yourself, wanting an open communication, wanting the truth to be told. Okay. But, um,. You're still playing mute. You had an opportunity in the past to open up and talk. You chose not to. Because this is your energy. Unless somebody is like, unless this other person's energy is, is that strong that's influencing yours. But like, this is for my lions. And to me, it's like, where is that strength? Okay, where is it? I think you felt defeated. I think your expect expectations were probably a little delusional, a little delusional. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you just need that hard truth right now. Tell me about your past actions. All right, because that's how you were. Some, I, this is what you were feeling. So some of you were determined to like get this, the, the game going. But let's see what your actions were saying. Because yeah. Ten of Swords, King of Pants, Temperance. Some of you were drinking too much. Some of you were just 
uh, and deny you don't have your eyes open. Exactly. Um, some of you just feel completely stabbed in the back. You gave up. All right. You got your faith back. You let it go. You got your faith back. You let it go. So right now you're blindfolded and you're not talking. But some of you want reconciliation with somebody. Or you were just trying to balance out how you felt about this situation. Do I want a commitment? Do I not want a commitment? Some of you are just waiting on this new start and others need to communicate to have this new start. I can't stress that enough. She felt betrayed, betrayed, and the advice. Some of you are just so stubborn. Your advice, it's the seven of swords. You stop self-sabotaging your situation. For those who are playing mute and not taking this new start, you're totally self-sabotaging. You're doing this. You're in control of your own mouth, your own modal functions. And you're self-sabotaging your situation currently. This is how you're presently feeling. Your advice is to stop self-sabotaging the situation. Stop lying to yourself or other somebody else. Okay. Uh, presently, how you're feeling is the Ace of Cups. So you have feelings for somebody. This is obviously a love situation. Big time. That is being self sabotaged. Okay. Where this is heading, let's find out where this is heading. Right to confusion. You're about to have options, multiple options. You're going to be confused, okay? You have three aces on the board. When too many offers are presented sometimes, it, it becomes extremely confusing. But you're heading right towards your karma. Let's talk about the seven of cups. King of cups. So, again, it looks like I got very feminine energy that's not saying anything, not wanting this new start. You have something that can grow. You have feelings for somebody, but you're self-sabotaging your own situation. Okay. Where's, where's the happy? Okay. Because presently you're, you're happy. But how are you going to get to your happy, happy if you're self-sabotaging your situation right now? Tell me advice for the future. I really feel like, unfortunately, somebody else's energy, like the cross-watcher's energy, totally took over this week. And then others are going to totally understand. Okay, so that was an epic fail. All right, where this is heading, okay? It's heading right towards conflict, guys. It's the strength is reversed. Not having enough strength to approach, speak about this conversation, to talk about this conflict, resolve this converse, conflict. What else? What are the? What else? It's telling me is that my lion right here with the strength card, because I have to use upright, is you have the strength to get yourself out of this conflict. Whatever is going on right now, you have the strength. You have to continue to push through. Confront this conflict. Confront it. It is your only way out right now. Open. Open your mouth and confront it. Somebody needs to confront this conflict so that happy, happy, happy can come in. If conflict is resolved, here comes your happy, guys. What happens if the conflict gets resolved, okay? Let's 
that went back into the deck, so. There's that ten of pence that wants to pop out, but it won't come out, okay? The other one was a ten of something, too. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, if you resolve this conflict, all right, you're going to get right out of that stormy water and sail into the ocean, and you're going to sail right towards your sun. Okay? But you have to choose to have enough strength to, to again, confront this conflict. You can sail into the sun if you choose. Some are self-sabotaging this situation. You want your happy? You want to sail into the sun? Tell me about the six. I don't even need to. You want you want all this? Um, I just wanted to see what it was. They were happy cards, okay? But I don't I don't even need to do that right now because it's enough said with the six of swords. Get yourself out of this situation. Sail into the sunset with this person that you love. Communication is at the utmost importance for my lions right now. It's literally up to my lions to confront this. Only you can stop self-sabotaging this. Only you can walk away from this self-sabotage. You're self-sabotaging your brand new spot. Don't you want a belly laugh? Don't you want a belly laugh again? Come on, my little lions. Hold your vision. You do have a beautiful vision. It's funny because I opened right to it and it flipped to the card before, which is be bold and make a move, okay? So you're dealing with fixed energy right now, and normally you're really good at it, but because it, it's, it's like you guys are fixed, Corp is fixed, things are going retro, it's like <sighs> some of you are letting the pride get the best of you. There are two main possibilities with this card. First, you need to stand firm in whatever the situation is. Second, it's very different interpretation for someone who is stuck. This could be referring to a situation you're asking about. If the case... Sorry, this is flying in my face. There are two main possibilities for this card. The first is that you need to stand firm with whatever, whatever situation you're in. The second is a very different interpretation of something for someone that is stuck. This could be referring to a situation you're asking about. If the case is something that you've been thinking about, you need to put the grease on the wheel so the events can move forward. You are being stubborn. If so, that's great. Because if you really want things to change, there needs to be a solution. Stop dragging your heels. Be the one to break the dead bolt. With the two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide whether or not and whatever one applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection as well. Attune to the moon. Yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just saw three say this. And I just said that three times. You, you interpret that how you want to interpret that. Okay? Avoid stagnation. Someone needs to back down. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Okay. A personal and or a professional relationship will be endured at this time. Okay. So it, it's tough because you're dealing with all these fixed signs too. All right. So don't pass judgment on yourself. Admire who you are. Go towards your happiness. All right. Because it's here. All right, it's, it's however, it, there's two ways you can take this because some of you are just so damn stuck, but that's you letting pride get in the way. Grease the wheels and go. That's you being stubborn. Okay. And others is that it's just like you don't want to accept the change either. But this change can be good. All right, you got to break the deadbolt. 
So with the two deter with the two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on. All right. This looks like straight up self sabotage from my lion. Okay. Um, but hold your vision because you, you got love here. And that love leads to the Ten of Cups. It leads to that happy that I was talking about, that belly laugh. Go get your belly laugh back. I love you guys.